With enough hard work, yes. You work too hard. Take a break at the Tavatan with me. I can't just step away from these artifacts. There's so much to be done. One of these times you'll say yes. Perhaps. You should keep trying. Is it normal for someone as young as you to be in charge? I'm no younger than you. And you're a Pathfinder. I kind of inherited the job. So did I. I was apprenticed to the former curator. It was my job to bring him artifacts from other worlds. When he retired, I sort of fell into his position. Do you miss relic hunting? Some days, but mostly I'm happy to spend more time with each piece. Any insight you can give me on the remnant tech? We don't know much. To our understanding, it's always been here. Start. I would love to be the one to solve that mystery. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Sure he goes, Lexi. Thank you, Cora. You're up first, by the way. Oh, shit. So my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. And uh, stop me if you've heard this one before. She asked me if I'd father it. Wow, that's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? Are you kidding me? That would be completely insane. Why? You think I'm not ready? Think I'm too immature or something? This is the kind of thing you don't just jump into, Gil. It's one of those no-turning-back decisions. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder. Becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I'm very happy for you, Gil. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, 
Uncle Pathfinder. A toast to the vanquished. The Archon, face down, Asa. So long, bone brain. How about to Meridian? To dream. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. What's it like to have Cash as a granddaughter? Cash is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good. Even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How did you and Vetra meet? Ha, huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for Kesh right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. I have no problems believing that. Yeah, she told me off good. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Kesh's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Kesh all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable, the works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corcro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. I'd like to know about Morda. She leads the colony, Clan Nakmore. We adopted her in a few centuries ago. Morda's a fine warlord, proud but practical. As long as Tan doesn't have say over the clan, You'll be able to talk her back into the initiative. Something's gonna have to get done about Spender, though, or it'll get ugly again. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat, or combat in general? Well, Com and Cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Wraiths are sneaky little shits, like the ghost up behind you when you least expect it. Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their headplates, then a headshot should do the trick. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal. And Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. Do you think Cash can handle station politics? Cash can handle anything. Thing is, Spender's a liar and a coward. He was part of the mutiny, I know he was. A lot of people got hurt because of him, on both sides. So what's my part in this? 
Things need to get sorted out and my clan needs to get back on station without Spender messing things up. Way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, huh, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. Maybe Helios Flora is more edible now, with Meridian active. Not again. I've seen reports of floral mare stems and plants that didn't have them before. This could be it. If you do try them, make sure it's not before a long shift this time. Watch your tone. You saw what happened to the Krogan. But we need this equipment. Well, you're not getting it. Stop! Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. What do you want? Whatever's going on, it's not fair to take it out on me. <sighs> Apologies, you're right. This is not your fault. He was pretty abusive towards you. Is that normal? Yes, he's horrible. Working with him is a total nightmare. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. You'd think your boss would have the power to do something. She hates Spender, but there's only one of her, and she can't always be around to deal with him. 
Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boo 